Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugley channel. Now, right off the bat, you probably might notice a slight difference in audio quality, for the worse, that is, and it's because I'm actually not at my original recording location, so the audio quality for this video only will be kind of mid, but that's alright, because this video is yet another Backrooms level explanation video, and today I'm gonna answer one of the questions that I've personally had for a long time, and that question is, what is the oldest Backrooms level? I'm genuinely curious, so this might turn into a series to search and find the oldest Backrooms level based off of its listed age or its supposed age or whatever. Let's get into it, shall we? We shall. So I was scrolling through the Wikidots when this video idea hit me right in the head to find the oldest level. And after a while of looking, I found a couple of them for the episode, and those levels are levels 499 and level 199. Level 499, aka the Terrestrial Paradise, wow that's a cool name bro, is classified as a class 1 difficulty and is SSMEC, or SMEC which is short for saying safe, secure, and minimal entity count. This level's physical layout and description is pretty unique because it's described as a complex maze of different settings or habitats or natural places that have kind of crashed into each other and mended together. Specifically, the different settings are jungles, caves, rivers, waterfalls, adobe houses, stuff like that. And they're all glitching into each other and no clipping constantly. Inside of these structures, the hallways will just randomly end and turn into forests, and rivers will flow right through rooms. Like, there's no problem with it at all, it just happens. The only thing that isn't quote-unquote weird on this level is that there's a ton of vines and leaves and trees just hanging out, and it kind of seems like a forest when you're outside of these temples. Also, gravity as we know it doesn't really seem to obey our physics for natural things because there's streams that will float straight upside down and waterfalls that will literally just go in the opposite direction. But sadly, wanderers still do obey normal gravity for some reason, so you're stuck on the ground, which kind of sucks. There's no visible sun here, and the only light source comes from something called ghost lights, which are just giant floating spheres that float in the sky. And these ghost lights populate the structures and the outside areas but sometimes they aren't in some areas, and those specific places are really dangerous because there's no lights, and you might get lost in the structure, or you might get lost in the outside, because you can't see anything. This level is also extremely massive, and it expands vertically and horizontally, so it pretty much just goes out in all directions. To me, it seems like it's been there for an extremely long time, since like the ancient ruins time area. Obviously that's not a real time period, but you get what I'm saying. There's also an ancient religious group that lives here called Amor Incrementum, which doesn't have any info on it, but I'm pretty sure Amor means love. So, I don't know, it just sounds old. You can enter this level by going down hallways in level 4 that eventually transform into foresty tunnels and you can exit by finding a random merge point of levels like for example this level, level 499, merging with the forests of level 62 and you can just walk over that threshold and be in level 62. But yeah, this one seems pretty ancient. What do you think? The next level I want to talk about is level 199, or as it's called, the Wonoric Forest or the Honoric Forest, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This level is really weird and extremely old. It has a survival difficulty of NA or non-applicable, and is non-existent, devoid of matter, and unfit for life? Okay then. But the first sentence of this description says that the forest has been a major part of the backroom's folklore for a long time, so it's definitely old. The level is more of a mindset dream world, and is said to only be able to be accessed through your dreams. It looks like a huge expanse of rivers, valleys, lakes, mountain ranges, and thick forests spread out over a huge vast expanse of land. The plants here are supposedly so crazy that the human brain can't even comprehend them, so I would love to see that. This level is also dotted with ancient ruins from what seems to be sentient humanoids 
but it looks like they've been gone for a long time. There's square structures, pyramids, and other old world looking things that are all overgrown and forgotten about. Now the time on this level works in very weird ways because minutes can feel like hours or hours can feel like minutes. It just depends on where you're at on the level. Now there's a specific hidden area in the level that's called the Twisted Garden that can be accessed by wandering extremely deep into the level. This is the area where most of those structures are, and some of them are shaped weirdly and entangled around each other. Think of buildings that grow like plants and twist and turn around each other. Now this garden area is also full of voids and dead ends and canals, which seem to just drop off into nothingness, but the canals also point to the fact that there were humans here at one point, since why else would you need working waterways, I mean, you know? There's also signs of an unknown language that's carved into stones and onto streets on this level, which pretty much solidifies the fact that there was at one point an ancient group of sentient beings living here. Now the main theory is that at one time the city was huge and populated and teeming with life, but some kind of huge cataclysmic event blew it all up or messed it up somehow which is pretty cool. There's only one quote-unquote entity that lives here, and it's called Orbs. And they kind of just float like orbs, and they guide people around the Twisted Garden area, and they kind of look like the biblical description of angels, which is pretty neat and creepy. There aren't any bases here, since it's like a dream world, and no one has ever seen anyone else here because this level can only be accessed through dreaming, so you're pretty much alone to the entire level. To enter this area, you have to be dreaming obviously, but it does help to be dreaming in a place where there's lots of forests, like the Crimson Forest, or something like that. And to exit, <laughs> well you just gotta wake up. But yeah, I do think this one was older than the first level I went over, and it's pretty cool and unique at the same time. It's got good vibes. So yeah, those were two of the oldest backrooms levels that I have found so far. If you have any suggestions on levels that I missed or levels that you want to see me go over, let me know down below in the description, comment section. I'll get it right one day and I'll pump the content out for you. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting me. I appreciate it very, very much. Go check the description for any links you might want uh, for the link to my second channel specifically. Wink wink, where I post only bangers lads, I promise. We just hit 12k over there on only 12 videos, that's insane, I, I really just thank you so much for that. Uh, the goal for that channel is 50k by the end of the year, so if you want to help me meet that goal, go over there and check it out, I think you'll find something that you like. Thank you all for everything, I love you all and appreciate you all. The Brugley Summer Spectacular starts on May 2nd. Set your calendars, it's on its way, it lasts two months, there's going to be 37 level explanations, levels 13 through 50, and some fan made levels and normal other levels sprinkled in between. It's going to be lit, it's going to be three times the size of Brugmas, I hope you're hype, hope you're ready, mark your calendars. It's going to be awesome. I'm also going to be doing a live Q&A over on the Toogly channel, my second channel, in a couple weeks. So get ready for the announcement for that. So it's going to be a live Q&A. You guys can hop in and ask me any questions you want, and I'll answer them. The last Q&A I did was here on Brugly, and I hit 20k subs, and that was what it was for. So that was a long time ago, and a lot of you are new, so I figured why not. Stay tuned for that. That's it for me in this video. I'll see you all in a couple days. Peace.